Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 24 March 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior writer Cameron Mackay writes that the private sector is seen as the key to unblocking the transition-enabling grid capacity. The lack of transmission infrastructure public funding for grid strengthening and expansion has emerged as a binding constraint on connecting much-needed private generation and on South Africa's transitioning to a more reliable and cleaner electricity sector. The engineering news features focus on energy transition, where transferable skills and collaboration are vital for energy transition and employment. Pumps, where a slurry pump company strives for optimization. And climate change, where new approaches to waste are needed to alleviate its impact. The Mining Weekly features focus on a review of the mining in Daba, where sustainability and safety were topics of discussion. This week's business leader is Kennedy Chinganya, Managing Director of Ultron Nexus. And as this week's cartoon shows, while the right to protest is an essential part of any democracy, South African protest action is synonymous with acts of violence, intimidation and the destruction of property. Unless a new way of protest emerges, individual, business and investor confidence will continue to decline. In more exciting news, our team has been working hard on a new design for the Engineering News and Mining Weekly websites. We'll continue to deliver comprehensive, concise and clear South African business news. And from the 8th of May, the websites will have a brand new look. To find out more about what you can expect, email subscriptions at cremamedia.co.za. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy. Enjoy the read and see you next time.